Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into a delicious experiment. Alu Tiki versus Lobia Tiki. And we'll be using a continuous glucose monitor or a CGM to see that how these two popular snacks impact our blood sugar level. So let's get started. First of all, we'll set our baseline. My current blood sugar level is 80 mgdl and I'll track my glucose level with my CGM after eating both of these tikkis. Let's start with the classic aloo tikki. I'm going to enjoy this and monitor my blood sugar level after that. Alright, it has been 90 minutes since I had my aloo tikki. Very delicious. Now let's check my blood sugar level. It's 120 mgdl, a 40 points increase from my baseline. Now let's see what happens when I try lobia tiki. Very delicious again. This time I'm having lobia tiki, which is made from black eyed peas. And my current blood sugar level, let me see, is 85 mgdl. Let's see how these protein rich snack affects my blood sugar level. Okay, it has been 90 minutes since I had the lobia tiki. Let's check my blood sugar level right now. Oh, it's only 100 mgdl, which is a mere 20 mgdl increase from my baseline. So what did we find? Eating aloo tiki resulted in a higher and more rapid peak in my blood sugar level compared to eating lobia tiki. Why? Because the higher protein and fiber content in lobia tiki likely help stabilize my blood sugar response. If you are looking to manage your blood sugar level better, I suggest that lobia tiki is a smarter choice. For more such CGM experiments, please comment below on what food do you want us to compare and we'll come back with that experiment for you. Thanks for joining me on this CGM food experiment. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest experiments.